So it has been a little bit over one full year since I began weather radios. And I just can't believe that I've made it this far. And so to celebrate, I brought all my radios, including my old Energizer. I keep forgetting the model. Model. Oh, let me find it. Oh, guys. W-R-A-D-L-8-A-A, -A, I think, yes, and also including the Radio Shack 12259, if you're wondering where the zone guard is, I accidentally left it home hanging on the wall getting ready for the national test, so it'll pretty much be everything except for the zone guard, but we're still gonna have a test, so... That's gonna happen. This is your weather radio station, WXK85 in Oklahoma City, operating on a frequency of 100... This variability, normally more noticeable at a greater distance from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. During severe weather, the warning alarm will be activated for severe thunderstorm and tornado watches, and for severe thunderstorm, tornado, and flash flood warnings. The warning alarm will also be used for civil emergency messages. A test of the warning alarm feature of National Weather Service Radio is conducted at 12 noon and 7 p.m. each Wednesday, unless there is a significant risk of severe weather in the area. The following is your hazardous weather outlook. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of northern, western, central, and southern Oklahoma and western North Texas. Day one through tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. Days two through seven, Thursday through Tuesday, heat and humidity, hot temperatures and higher humidities will likely lead to... Oh, it's this one, you dummy. So I learned my lesson. This thing is loud as heck and it will never shut up. 